Growth of firms by Camilla Chadder. How can firms grow? Firms can grow in two ways, internally and externally. Internal growth is growth of a firm through the reinvestment of profits. External growth occurs when a firm integrates with another firm to create a bigger firm. The main constraint of growing is the money involved. Why do some firms stay small and not grow? The main advantage of growing big is to achieve economies of scale. However, there are many advantages of staying small. I have listed some below. For example, they are easier and cheaper to set up. There is less paperwork or red tape involved. When targeting a niche market, you don't need a big firm. And it makes no sense to have a big firm when the market is small. So this is a way of being cost effective. They can provide a more personal service to consumers and better treatment to employees. Easier to react to changes in the market, i.e. demand and supply. Why do firms grow big? The main purpose behind expanding appears to be to become a dominant firm in a market, either through creating barriers to entry or making cost savings and subsequently reducing prices, which is also creating barriers to entry. Conglomerate integration seems to be different. This is solely done to diversify risk. However, it can be conceived that by diversifying risk, they can lower prices in one market by compensating in the other, and hence dominating that market. Horizontal integration is when a firm of the same industry and stage of production integrate. For example, a flour mill integrates with another flour mill. This provides a fairly quick way of capturing market share and achieving economies of scale. Forward vertical integration is when a firm integrates with another one in the same industry but at a later stage of production. For example, a flour mill integrating with a bakery. This allows firms to control its outlets which helps to capture profits and take advantage from economies of scale. Backward vertical integration is when a firm integrates with a firm in the same industry but at an earlier stage of production. For example, a flour mill integrating with an arable farm. This helps to create barriers to entry as firms benefit from controlling inputs and capturing profit that would have otherwise gone to suppliers. Conglomerate integration is when firms of two different industries integrate. For example, when a flour mill integrates with a cinema chain. This helps to diversify risks for firm and to achieve certain economies of scale, for example, financial economies of scale. Demergers are when two firms split. So why does this occur? It occurs to improve communication and managerial control, to increase motivation within staff. It is a quick way of raising finance and perhaps to increase profitability by getting rid of diseconomies of scale. Thank you for watching. Please visit my blog.